Hello everybody. Yeah, I'm just going to do a video here on uh, refinishing uh, drum hardware. Now, I painted my hardware black. It used to be chrome. Painted it black, but it needs to be redone again. This time I'm going to do powder coating, and I'm going to show you how to go about it. Here's where we're at. Uh, I've taken the drum skins off the drum, and now I'm just about to take the hardware off and uh, this is what we're going to repaint all of this and as you can see there's the chrome bit for and uh, well it was a quick job <laughs> I like the black look with the yellow so uh, yeah I figured I'm going to redo it myself now there's the uh, the chrome rim and soon to be black. So take our screwdriver and we start loosening off the bolts. Sometimes they stick in there, and that's how you get them off. Now, key thing, try and keep all your stuff together. Do not lose anything. So, I've just taken a container, and I just plop everything in there. That way I don't, I don't lose it, because it's going to be a while before I get to put it back together. So I want to make sure where, I know where everything is. Like I said, sometimes they do stick. So what I do here is I just take the end of this, pop it through, and as you can see, it comes off, no problem. It's been a long time since this has been apart. So, this is the piece I just took off, which is my hardware. Now, uh, with the, this is a pearl kit. So, with this kit, you just take the plastic piece off here. Protects the finish. Put it in your container. Now you take the slider off, and then you push the thread insert and pop it out and there you have it there's all your parts now my lug holder is bare and ready for stripping and then painting and I'll just go about this process all the way around the kit or the drum and uh, until I've got it completely apart Got all my pieces, and then I will begin stripping. So this is what I'm going to be using to strip the paint or etch the chrome anyways. Uh, I don't have a sandblaster, so this is what I use. Uh, 3M Scotch-Brite, um, a medium grade. I find it works the best. <coughs> it doesn't scratch it too much, and it uh, leaves a nice smooth finish, and also etches the chrome pretty decent. Anyway, so I'm using a four inch, uh, a four and a half inch grinder, and uh, I'll just take the pad and I just trace it on here with the uh, with the marker. That's what you get. Keep it close to the edge because this stuff's expensive. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and I'll just take some snips and cut it out. And what I use for to punch the hole out in the middle, I just use uh, like a spark plug socket put it down on something uh, decent, you know, steel table or whatever floor, concrete floor or something, get a good backing behind it, take a hammer, just put the socket right in the center and hammer it and it'll pop right through. Brings in a nice circle so you can put it on the grinder easy. So I got my angle grinder here. This is what you end up with afterwards. Just pop it on. I like to double it up 
um, because a single is too flimsy so you need to double them up and put your nut on and tighten it up and uh, you're good to start stripping now okay here I have uh, a bench grinder set up with my uh, my pads I got three on here just because well it's wide and uh, my angle grinder set up with my pads and I'm going to start showing you how to strip here's my uh, my hoop that I have that's painted a long time ago only the outside <laughs> anyway so I'll show you what it looks like uh, after it's stripped remember always wear safety glasses Get the big areas with the uh, with the bench grinder, or the smaller areas with the uh, angle grinder. This is what the hardware looks like once it's done. Now, take everything off the, the surfaces and, and the edges too, because if you keep the chrome on the edges smooth, uh, the paint will chip easy. Now, keep in mind we're doing powder coating, uh, so it's a lot tougher paint, thicker paint. Um, inside, I don't care about because you don't see it. So, I mean, you can do the whole inside. And make sure anything with threads that you put uh, a bolt or something in there so that uh, won't get any paint in there because it's, uh, it's tough to get out once uh, once it's baked. So the holes fine, uh, just anything with threads, and uh, that's uh, basically how you strip it. And then after the fact, we'll uh, we'll get it ready, we'll clean it, and the painter will paint it. And I'll show you that. you do it with the grinder. See how dull it is there? It's still shiny there. That's all you need to do. You need to etch it uh, a little bit. That's it. So uh, don't go crazy on it. Uh, the powder will stick to it nice. Okay, we're back from the paint shop and uh, this is what it turns out like. This is what I did. I masked the, uh, the ends here to keep so um, I can thread it in easier and uh, that's basically what it looks like afterwards and it's time for reassembly so here we go finished product this is all blacked out and it's all put back together so basically that's how you do a uh, 
refinishing on the hardware. I like it. It goes good with the yellow. Uh, it's just my personal taste, anyways. So, uh, yeah, that that's a basic idea of uh, a kind of a cheap way to do it. Um, you uh, you know you don't have to spend a whole lot of money stripping the chrome and doing all that stuff. Uh, the powder is really thick. It's really hard. It's baked on hard, and uh, it, it lasts a long time. Anyways, um, so that's uh, that's my video on how to refinish uh, my drum hardware. Hope you like it.